everyone. Do you want to see some magic? Are you ready? In three, two, one, boom! Hey, can you see me? How can you just hear me? Okay, okay, I'll come back. Here I am. That was fun, wasn't it? What do you think? What you just saw, was it real magic? Aha! Uh -huh. I was able to do this because of animation and graphics. Do you know, in our very nature, there is a similar phenomenon that's happening where one form changes into another and then disappears. Now this is happening inside our home. It's happening on the road where we ride our bicycles. It is also happening on our very own body without any of us noticing. Do you want to know what that is? Now this is evaporation. What is evaporation? Evaporation is a process in which a liquid converts to gas even below its boiling point. Now how does this happen? Is it magic? No, no. Water consists of particles called molecules. They are so small that you can't see it, not even under a microscope. They are much smaller than that. But it is present in it. When the sun rays falls and the wind blows on the surface of water, these molecules will get kinetic energy. Now when these molecules get higher kinetic energy, the molecules will get separated from the forces of attraction of other molecules in the water and they get converted to vapour. Now this is why when you hang your wet clothes outside, it gets dried. And also, when you've played a lot and there's a lot of sweat on your body, it gets dried when it's windy. But wait, there are different factors that affect the process of evaporation. Let me give you an example. You take a glass of water and you place it near the seashore and then compare with the amount of water that's evaporated between the two. What do you think you're going to notice? The seawater has evaporated more and faster. Do you know why? The surface of water in the glass is much, much smaller when compared to sea. Also, the sea water is exposed more to the air and that's why we have more molecules of sea water that can escape or evaporate. The other factor that affects evaporation is temperature. If the temperature of the liquid is high, enough molecules in the liquid will get kinetic energy to evaporate. Now this is also the reason why we see oceans and rivers dry up due to heat in summer. Another factor that affects evaporation is humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapour that is present in the air. Now this is also the reason why wet clothes gets dried faster in summer than in winter. That is because the dry air in summer has less water vapour or less humidity. Wind speed is also one of the factors for the process of evaporation. Now for example, you finish playing and if you sit against a table fan, the sweat on your body will get dried up really soon. Now that is because the sweat droplets will move away because of wind speed. But you might wonder, why does our body have this cooling sensation after evaporation? Now for the liquid to evaporate, the molecule draws heat from the surface that it touches. Now if you're losing heat, the surface will cool down. Now the sweat droplets on our body will also evaporate by taking the heat from our body, right? Now that is why our body feels this cooling sensation. Did you know salt is produced by evaporating seawater? Now imagine this, all the seawater in the world has evaporated. We are going to be left with 500 feet of salt. That means it's 50 floors of building of thick layer of salt. Wow! 
Another fact for you, the sun evaporates this much of water every day. Can you count? It's 1 trillion tons of water each day. Wow, now that's a lot of water. So, what have we learned today? We have learned that the process of liquid converting into vapour is called evaporation. We have also learned the three factors of evaporation that is surface area, temperature and humidity. Would you like more interesting examples on evaporation? Now let me give you some homework. Most of the times we see water on the road but when we go near it, it disappears. Is that magic? No, it's called mirage. I want you to go and find out what mirage in a desert means. Once you know the answer, share that interesting find with us. Well then, it's time for me to evaporate. Boom! Oh wait, I can't evaporate but I can disappear. So 3, 2, 1, boom! Bye-bye! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos every week.